So we're here at the NEC NEC. You are showing this LTW dual, dual communicate or dual screen Android tablet running uh, Android 2.1. This is a. Uh, it's not very heavy, is it? No, this is less than a pound. This sounds. This looks like a cool concept. Yes, right now concept. Huge screen. Two this. seven inch screens, uh, resistive, so they can do both fingerprint uh, or finger touch, yeah. as well as uh, there's a stylus built in. So you could use this as a pen stylus. Has USB port. One USB host. Uh, one yes. USB. And a camera on the back. Camera on the back. Three main camera. This video and photo. And uh, SD card slot, uh, as well as a SIM card slot. Wow. Has Wi-Fi on board. Bluetooth on board. Uh, has one gig internal, but I just saw there's an SD card slot, so you can expand that out. Uh, stylus as well, so you can uh, to write your handwriting. Controls for uh, volume. The speakers are built into the front as well as the microphone. So you just unlock it? Yes. And you're there? And we're there. What kind of processor do you have? It's a uh, Cortex A8. And uh, here's, uh, oops, I clicked on something. Or, okay. Yeah, this in back. Oops, yeah. What happened here? Oh, what did you do? I crashed it. No, you didn't. No? You no, opened back, a okay. long screen here, that's okay. all that is. Sorry. Uh, but there is a status up here. And is it an accelerometer if you do like this? Yes. Uh, not on this page, no. but we can pull up. Uh... No, really? Is it going to do the full go. Google? Oh, maybe let's try the other way. There it is. Now on the browser, I can also... Is there an internet connection right here? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's going to work? Yes, really? Yes. Oh, this is insane. This is uh, awesome. Also, then, when you click on that, it brings up a virtual keyboard. So I can set it down as a laptop and type. How fast can you type? Let's type uh, armdevices.net. This is my website here. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit back. Oops. So it's an ARM Cortex A8. Which processor is that? Spell Oh, R. Uh, Arn. But nevertheless, uh, okay. Yeah, there you have it. So, which court, which uh, processor do you use? Do you say something about that? The specifics? Uh, not to the specific, other than it's a Cortex. A8. Is it going to be uh, released like this? Uh, no, this is the prototype unit. You can also on the the browser we can break that up to a a. Uh, dual screen and bring up two browsers at the same well, time. Well, you have two. That's insane. So you can actually browse two websites at the same time. That's correct. You can throw one tab over to the other. Yes. And I can switch them if I need to. That's so cool. Switch the screen. Or I could just go to a single screen. And on uh, here you can play the video? Uh, no, it doesn't support Flash yet. No yet? Not yet. How soon? Probably six months. There's so many applications for this, but uh, what, is, what is the size of the screen? Seven inch on both screens. But four by four by oh, three. Oh, uh, yeah, eight hundred by six hundred for each screen. Four by two, uh, four by three. Uh huh. This is really really cool, huh? Yes. Uh, so, Android what version? Uh, two point one. This is fun. Oh, let's just put like this, and I'll try to go on uh, settings. So you can update. It's funny, it, it opens the window over here. <laughs> and then I go back and I'll try to let's for example go in the wireless settings. Wow, it opens it here. And if I click in Wi-Fi settings, and you can uh, what do you do here? You go up and down. Okay, D-pad, correct. I mean this is really really cool. Wow. So this is a dual screen cloud communicator LT W. Yes. What model do you want to say about it? Uh, it should be available first release in Japan in about four months. Uh, so expect to see it then. And uh, so, did you do a custom UI here or something? Uh, yes, it is custom just for this show. There's some what is this? Uh, concept applications. So, for example, uh, we have uh, what could be a. Uh, so a, a student itinerary, or student yeah. schedule, so I could have uh, 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 menus over here, so I have a schedule up here, and here's my content, or I could 
could switch to like a more have more content here, or forums, or do uh, uh, some live video streaming into that for content. Um, I can also sounds insane, but uh, under uh, didn't follow. It's really fast. No, I mean that's cool. Uh, so if we go under books, like kind of like magazine stuff like that. Yeah. So we can flip between the books. Got two styles. As you can see, we can annotate on here. Oops, that's a good way. So at one point, Microsoft was uh, there was a rumor that they were going to do something, but somehow they didn't want to. With two screens. Uh, we can also have a nice little uh, personal organizer type application. So I can bring up a location. No, no dual, right? Yes. Well, right now it's, it's split up into it's, it's a single application split into two screens. Okay. Uh, so based on where I'm at, I have the maps with locations around the building advertising. Again, this right. is a, a concept application. Where Where did the NEC develop this? This is out of Japan. Out of Japan. Yes. So. Is there a big demand at the CES? Uh, yes, mainly the Japanese market. We've had some U.S. interest. In Europe? Uh, Can we get this? Uh, yeah, you bet. Yeah, Europe. Er, Europe will probably be second to release. We'll probably go Japan and then. Europe. Is it going to be affordable? Uh, hopefully. Cheaper than an iPad? Uh, definitely cheaper than. An definitely. IPad. Definitely cheaper. Okay, that that sounds like a good selling point. In the current, yeah. Because uh, this one, uh, can you fit in a bucket? Maybe not a big bucket. Uh, it'd be a big pocket. All right. Be a heavy pocket. How long is battery life? Uh, this one is five hours. All right. Cool. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.